A bridge has been built between Salesforce and SAP. So how does it work? Process Runner consumes Salesforce APIs, allowing business end users to transfer data between Salesforce and SAP. No development and no implementation is needed in either Salesforce or SAP, and no tool is required except Process Runner. Let's watch it in action. Here in my Salesforce account, I have a list of several service orders which are currently in a draft status. If I scroll over here, you can see that I have a column for SAP order number, which is just waiting to be filled with values from SAP once I run IW31. Now let's go to Process Runner. Here I've selected an IW31 transaction automation script. I'm simply going to press the Run button. Now I'm going to log into an SAP system from my SAP landscape. And now an IW31 script executes. First, it pulls the data from Salesforce to this external Excel spreadsheet and then runs the transaction IW31 and commits the data to SAP. Finally, it's going to send the SAP order numbers to Salesforce and change the status of the service orders from draft to activated. If I scroll down here, you can see these orders have been saved in SAP and have been assigned numbers. Let's just take a look at this first one right in SAP. I'm going to put in the transaction code IW33. And we'll change this order number. And here is my data on that first service order. If I go to the components tab, here you can see my three material numbers. Now let's take a look again in Salesforce. I'm just going to refresh this page. And we should see this all clear out as all of these have been set to activated. Let's go back to that filter. There you can see my draft service orders. This is now empty. So if we go to this service orders only, if I scroll down here and then scroll over to the SAP numbers, there you can see that SAP order number that we had looked at previously. Now I just showed you how the script was executed manually, but if you go into Process Runner, you can go to the Scheduler tab, and from here, you can set up these scripts to run as frequently or as infrequently as you would like. You simply select when and how often you would like the process files to run. You can set it up for every five minutes, every half hour, daily, weekly, monthly. You can totally automate the process so no one has to trigger it manually. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to learn more about how to integrate Salesforce with SAP, please contact us through Inaware.com. We'd be glad to set up a private demo with you where we can specifically tailor the demonstration to your company's data management needs.